Hello, hello, and welcome to A Life More Boaty. Today we are here with the lovely people at Delta Yachts to have a look at the Delta 60. This is one spectacular piece of sun worship. So the Swedish brand build their boats in Estonia. You can see we have this absolutely vast, if I stand over here, water sports platform, plenty of room there to store your tender. And as you can also see over there, little pop out passerelle, massive great big day bed here, some lounging space, and that hides your engines. And your engine options are pretty straightforward. You can either have Volvo Pentas or you can have Mercruiser engines on IPS drives. But what a beautiful boat. The whole thing is built of carbon fibre. Everything is done in-house. So obviously engine bays down there, that gives you a truly massive lazarette down there. It's just incredible entertaining space here. So you can see powered out bimini, gives you a bit of extra shade here. Very, very clean lines. So no, no, uh, no, nothing to hold on to on the side decks outboard, but they do have these clever little pop-up cleats which allow you to click your fenders in to keep those lines clean. Again, all the stainless work, all the upholstery, all done in-house. If I go forward here and then take a turn around, you can see fantastically structural stainless steel work holding up this beautiful T-top. And then over here we have obviously these, that seating that we just looked at. Drop down a step and we have fridges in here, storage bins in there, cooking over here, or sorry, dishwasher over there I should say, ice maker, coffee machine, and then you can see the tap there, sink over here. Up this step brings us to the helm station. Very, very stylish, it's doing that beautiful stainless work. You'll also notice down here, we have a couple of um, controllers, the anchor winch. Lovely to see solenoid switches rather than the old carling switches and a couple of massive Garmin screens there. Throttle controllers over there and look at that beautiful hand stitch suede wheel and that incredibly clean crisp four deck bit of companion seating over here and a truly vast opening again beautifully made out of stainless and smoked glass drops us down to the accommodation area as we go down we pass the distribution panel there for the c-zone system and it's very serene down in here. So you can see all that lighting, hidden lighting. We'll go forward first to the master. Look at that. Massive double bed. A couple of little seats or little stools underneath so you can get yourself dressed. Acres of storage in all of these cupboards. And again, beautifully finished. Storage all the way around with these little fiddles. Big mirror at the head of the bed throwing all that light around. And then as you can see, there is also illumination and access to the foredeck from there, or emergency escape hatch into the master cabin. Heads over here, loo, electric towel rail, very large shower. Again, very stylized. Haven't really copied anyone's design. They've gone their own way. And I've got to say their own way is fantastic. So back to the companion way. Takes us past the shared heads in here. And again, similar finish. Electrically heated towel rail, heads, vanity unit there. And again, a really decent, very stylish shower cubicle. So shared heads door here. So that door drops us through into the one of the two aft cabin options. Again, lots of storage windows and even here though it's starting to slope down on one meter 70 there's still tons of headroom down here and then this really nice little aft cabin plenty of room to sit up in bed really nice to see the way they've got this sort of bit of soundproofing here just to make it a bit warmer a bit more cozy loads of storage over there little bench seat down here getting dressed big mirror on the way out and again look at these beautiful light switches Across that to the other cabin that shares that same head, 
as soon as you come in here, plenty of standing headroom up here, big storage, light coming into the window, and again, tons of headroom in here. That then drops down a bit like the other side. This time we've got two single berths, but again, very capable, beautifully finished, lots and lots of storage. Another little stool in there as well. Just so lovely. And it's quite a beamy boat because that's a decent sized stairwell. Both of those cabins have got an incredible amount of beam. So she's carrying a lot of beam here. And on the way out, we will have a quick look before we head to the four decks at the engine bay. Ooh, 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 look at that. So that whole sun pad we looked at on the way in lifts up and gives you access to this truly spectacular engine bay. I'm just going to swap hands and drop in here because anyone who watches my channel will know I do love an engine bay. So straight away you can see a Fisher Panda generator in there. You can see the size of these Volvo Pendants we've got in here. These are DA IPS 800s. And then you hear this is probably one of the best views I've ever seen of the pod drive system. So there you go, you can see the black pipe down the back that goes to bronze, that's to putting the exhausts back underwater. That's the IPS drive, all your hydraulics over there, Fisher Panda controller, other engine the other side. Forward of us, just forward of that, forward of the fire suppression system, you can see what looks to be a gyro stabilizer, good old cartridge pressure washer. <laughs> and then just a little bit of storage, storage forward of the engine bay. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And that finish, I, I always think the finish in an engine bay defines the quality of a yacht builder because most owners don't go in the engine bay, therefore they don't get to see the fit and finish down there. We will just finish with a little wander forward. Okay, whilst there's no outboard rails, they've cleverly used this entire wraparound windscreen as a handrail. So we'll shimmy up the side decks. Feels a lot more secure than it looks. And here you go, now you can see, if I get out of my own shadow, how those little fender hooks work. Pop up cleats as well, so you're keeping the lines clean. And then there's that wooden space over that floating helm station. Solar panels on board. TV sat, radar. Now the gentleman was saying that you can actually effectively, because this has lithium ion batteries as well, you can run hotel load for around six hours might be pushing it a bit, but around six hours without the engines or the generator running. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. So those deck hatches and illumination windows we looked at below, acres of sunbathing up here, very stylish cup holders, look at that. So as you can imagine, she's very quick. I'll drop all the performance figures in below and being carbon, super light and very, very efficient. So there you go, that is the Delta 60. What a truly fantastic boat. Hope you've liked what you've seen. If you have, do please like and subscribe. I'll drop some additional videos in here below. I'll say we've got over 250 on the channel. Thank you for Delta Yachts for letting us have a look around. And I look forward to seeing you next time on the channel. Thank you for watching.